really was kind of a discussion, which um, surprised me a little bit. Like, there were lots of ideas that were pushed out across the table. Uh, but was, what was really interesting was the vice president was really looking for more than ideas. He was looking for strategies, approaches that really had some potential of working. Ideas are great, uh, but the, implement, the implementation of ideas uh, is a whole other story. Um, eliminate all guns, that's very, very easy to say, but how do you do that? Um, so that's the direction that uh, the conversation went. And like I said, it was very focused on what are some of the strategies that can be done uh, to really impact gun violence? I think one of the significant issues um, you know, for the Richmond metropolitan area and for VCU is that there's been a lot of effective legislation, a lot of great work done by local, federal, and state police here in the region to really reduce gun violence in Richmond. So obviously uh, the Vice President was here looking for um, what were some of those things that were effective, what were some of those things that worked. I think the other big takeaway was um, what was some of the legislation that Virginia implemented after the Virginia Tech tragedies and what was the impact of some of those programs. Um, obviously one of the big uh, takeaways from Virginia Tech was uh, requiring planning and emergency preparedness for institutions of higher education. And another big takeaway was the uh, state mandate that institutions would, would assemble and have functional threat assessment teams. And what value is a threat assessment team in a college environment, uh, how valuable of an asset that is, and whether or not there would be any translation for that same type of concept in other schooling environments.